Hey guys, we're just going to do a quick tutorial here on how to create a stem and leaf plot for, for a data set. It just helps us to organize the numbers in a more uh, manageable fashion for calculating central tendency. So looking at mean, median, mode, and range, sometimes it's easier if we have a stem and leaf plot to work with. Plus, this data set here, you can see it doesn't have that many numbers. If we were dealing with much larger set of numbers, the stem and leaf stem and leaf plot would make it easier to organize. So this um, set of numbers here deals with some radar speeds that were taken. You saw this example earlier in class um, in a school zone. So trying to look at like what trends we notice with the speeds that were measured in a school zone this day. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to establish the stem part of the, the chart. Okay, so if I just draw a quick chart is going to be messy because it's hard to hold the phone and draw a chart at the same time, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to start with the stem and that's going to go on the left side of the column. So what, what goes in here will be all of the numbers that are represented in the tens column of this data set. So any of the first digits that appear. So because we're dealing with speeds, they're all going to be in the double digits. We don't see anybody driving um, less than 20 kilometers an hour. So I look here and I find the lowest number on the list. 29 appears to be the lowest number. In fact, it's the only number that occurs um, with a 2 in the, the tens column. So it's the only number in the 20s. So that means I'm going to put a 2 as my first stem. Okay. And draw another line there. Then... Do I have any numbers in the 30s? Yes, I do. So I'm going to also have a 3 in the stem column. And do I have any 4s? Yes, I have a few numbers in the 40s. Also going to do another one there. And do I have any numbers in the 50s? Well, I have at least one. Anyone going above 60, 60 or above in the school zone? Thankfully not. So that's it. Those are the stem numbers I'm working with. Okay. Sorry about the camera movement. It's the best I can do. <laughs> so what I want to do now is isolate each of the numbers that are in the 20s from this list and represent all the numbers that occur in the ones column for numbers in the data set. Okay, that's just a fancy way of saying any number here that starts with a 2, I'm going to find it. Okay, and I see that number 29 is right here. So what I do is I write a 9 in the leaf part of the stem and leaf plot, okay? So you don't need to put these titles every time, but basically the stems are the first digits and then the leaves, the leaves represent any other numbers that occur in the data set. So there's only one number in the 20s, and so I have it represented right here. So I'm going to cross it off up here so I don't duplicate it, okay? Now, I'm moving on to the 30s. So I only want to look for numbers that have that occur in the 30s. What do I see here? Oh, I have 37. So I'm going to put a 7 right here. And I'm going to cross this off. And I have an 8. So I'm going to put an 8 right here. And cross that off. And you never, here's another, another 38. So I just put another 8 right there. Here's a 39. So I put a 9 in there. And one more, eight. So I put that. Now I look at the 40s. So I have a 48 represented. So I'm putting that eight down here. I have a 44, a 46, um, a 42, a 41. Um, do I have a 40? Yes, I do. So I'm going to have to put a 0, a 43, and a 48. That's all the numbers in the 40s now have been represented in this stem and leaf plot. Now if I look at my 50s, I'll see that I have a 54. And I have a 52. So if I add that down here, I have a 51. I have a 50. So even if it's a zero, you still put the zero there. And I have a 54. OK, 
Okay, all the numbers now from the original data set have been represented in this stem and leaf plot. Okay, so right away, just by looking at this, by reorganizing the data, I can easily say that mo most cars, more cars than, than not, seem to be in the 40s, right? Because look how many numbers appear in the 40s. Okay, a few are above 50, some are in the 30s. Okay, so that tells you at least something about the data. And I'm going to show you in a moment how to do the calculations with this data.